Okay, this is Vepija, and we are back in Chris Tales. Uh, let's go talk to Paulina. It's the big statue, right? Turn to tel Neva Tellura for a while. Be sure you finish all your endeavors before. Let's see what. So I can't just talk to her here? I have to travel. Her shoe. Seems like you can use the shoe here. Do you want to use it? No. Not now. Paulina could help us get to Cinder. She is the only person we know who can cross the sea. Okay. I thought I had to talk to her, but. Let's move on. Ah, uh, my diminutive dearies. You're back from Nevatulira. How did things go? Actually, it was kind of horrible. My goodness. I suppose it's not even worth asking what everyone was wearing. So, what's next for my little adventurers? We need to get to a place called Cinder. Can you take us there? I'm afraid I can't. I'm terribly sorry, but unlike your new friend there, I can't just wander the world willy-nilly. Hold on. That's not... <laughs> no, wait. That is fair and accurate. Please continue. <laughs> Thank you, dearie. I'm afraid this is as far as I can go. Oh man, Paulina. We were counting on ya. We don't have any other way of getting there. Oh, darling, don't be like that. You're breaking my heart. I guess I could make a small exception. You wouldn't mind? Oh, it's not a problem at all, my minuscule adventurers. But only to the beaches of the kingdom. Nothing more, nothing less. It is settled then. On to Cinder we go. She's waist deep in ocean. Hmm? What's happening with Wilhelm? Human emotions are complex and too complicated for my liking. Friends, family, home. These are all temporal concepts created by humans. Just as time passes, so do those concepts. Even something that once had great meaning for someone can lose its significance after time has run its course. But hanging on to those concepts, those memories, isn't that what pushes us forward? If you want to see it like that, go wild. <laughs> I'll never understand you humans. I have a couple of... Maestro, is everything okay? I'm not in the mood right now. Sorry. You should be. What kind of mentor are you? Hail, Crispell. What's happening with Wilhelm? He's been like that ever since we left Tulira. Maybe he's a bit nostalgic, having to leave his land again? Do you know what's wrong with Wilhelm? I am not certain, but I suspect he is grieving. Uh. Grieving? I believe he was quite close with the deceased matriarch Gladys. Oh, that's 
right. It was awful what Rallis did to her. I suppose it was, but I find it hard to blame Rallis. I think given the chance, many people would choose another chance at life, no matter the cost. She did so many awful things. From our perspective, yes. But for her, I doubt the situation was quite so black and white. Imagine pretending to be something you are not for years. Imagine how hard that would be. Something must have happened to drive her to act so desperately. That doesn't excuse it. No, I suppose it does not. But she also was not the only one at fault. The real villain was whichever of Gladys's children betrayed the family. That probably makes it even worse for Wilhelm. The children all used to be his students. Indeed. Why not get some sleep? We are setting out for Cinder in the morning. Good morning, everyone. Are we all ready to depart for Cinder? I am. Don't they have the biggest crystal forge in the world? Ooh, crystal forge. They do. Or they did. I heard it closed down recently. Oh, okay. From what I've heard, Cinder is located inside an active volcano. Though most cultures avoid building in such places, as the natural environment is rather deadly, the Cinderians have embraced doing so. Wait, what? Isn't that incredibly dangerous? Indeed it is. Well, at least for those made of skin and bones. <laughs> <clears throat> we will have plenty of time to discuss those matters when we arrive. Darlings, this is as far as I'll take you all. Thanks for the help, Miss Paulina. No problem, Sugar Plum. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have a nap I need to take. <laughs> well, off to Cinder it is. The city should be up to the north. Then to the north it is, young mages. Okay, northward I guess. Oh, here. Here? Oh, that's right, the volcano. Uh-oh. Though most cultures avoid such places due to the great risk of a painful death, the Cinderians have embraced it. Not only does the lava heat the Great Forge, but it's used for glassworking and other crafts. Would you like to know more? What's with that giant red rock out there? Seriously? You're standing in a city, inside a volcano, and you're blathering about a larger-than-average rock? What is wrong with you? It's a really big rock, with a tiny house on top of it. It's got to be important somehow. Just try to enjoy the view, quietly, okay? Here you go. A lava lantern. Oh, okay, cool, thanks. Wait, what? What is this thing? Vera, don't just run off like that. Sorry, young man. She's just excited about the Lantern Festival. Lantern Festival? Oh, you're travelers, of course. It's an old tradition. Once a year, we fill these lanterns with the memories of those we have loved and those we have lost. Then, we release them. 
lifting their souls to the clouds. Just like this. Oh, cool. Oh, my Fira. You should have waited for the speech over by the first citizen's house. Come, let's get you another one. Oh, my dear Fira. You are such an airhead. Are there always this many? Yes, well, it has not been a good year. There have been so many sick with the glass lung. Anyway, we need to be off. Farewell. Bye, mister! It's so beautiful, isn't it? Yeah, I don't know if I want Looks to talk like to that. this part of town has seen better days. Is it just me? Or are a lot of these goblin people sick? Is that... It can't be them! Look! Yep, I saw him. This medicine will help you feel better. I promise. You need to trust me, okay? <gasps> I trust you, <coughs> Princess. Princess? <gasps> Thank you so much, Princess. <clears throat> Where would we be without you? I think we got to him in time, but barely. The glass lung is everywhere. If that bastard had closed the forge earlier, this wouldn't be happening! We should... Calm yourself, sister. You're not wrong, but the forge is closed now, and it's still happening. This area is not even the worst of it. Still, there's no excuse for letting our people die. We need to keep moving. Try to save as many as we can. The Volcano Sisters? Helping people? This is unexpected. I don't like unexpected. <laughs> we have to follow them. I'm detecting a high energy concentration west of here. Come on then, let's go. should get closer. Even after all these years, it warms my heart to see the lanterns fly away. On this day, the day of the Lantern Festival, we honor the dead. Here, as the Millennium Rock bears silent witness, we release the souls of the departed, carrying with them our cherished memories and silent prayers for a journey of peace. <laughs> the glass lung has taken much from us all. For far too many, it has taken everything. Though I acted as swiftly as possible, shutting down the forge, there are many among us who are afflicted. Our hearts go out to all those who have lost loved ones. Let their memories be honored today. You may release your lanterns. A 
fine speech. Eh, I'd give it a six. <laughs> hey, I wrote that speech. It deserves at least an eight. You're... We met in St. Clarity, didn't we? I'm glad you found me so memorable. I'm Finia, wife of Azufra, the first citizen. Well, uh, it's nice to meet you. Again, I mean, I'm Christopher. A pleasure, Mr. Christopher and company. As I recall, you have some connection to the ruby trade in St. Clarity. Is that correct? Perhaps you would have some time to... What is a first citizen? My husband, Azufra, was given that title by the people of Cinder at the end of the revolution, as he led our people to the victory and freedom they deserved. Okay. The lanterns are blowing up. Is this part of the event? I don't recall this happening in years prior. Okay. Hey, where did that big lantern come from? I'm detecting a strange energy discharge from this lantern. These levels are much higher than would be expected. Ah, now I understand. It appears to be full of explosives. I would advise maintaining a safe distance. Are all these people going to die? No, there must be something I can do. There must... Uh-oh. What? What happened? Everything has stopped. Except for me. I don't know what happened, or if it'll last. But maybe it'll give me enough time to disarm the bomb. Hmm. Let's regress it. Whose fuse was added to your bag? What in the world? It appears Chris Bell disarmed the bomb in the square. However, there are additional bombs detonating nearby. <coughs> this weird smoke is stinging my eyes, and I can barely breathe. We need to get out of here. This gas is rich in atomized crystal particles. If inhaled in sufficient quantities, the effects could be dangerous to many organisms. Ah, the glass lung. Uh-oh, guys. I'm feeling dizzy. I think I inhaled some of that gas. Maybe a lot of that gas. Hang on, boy. Try not to... breathe. As much as possible, at least. Now the square is under attack. We need to get Christopher somewhere safe. <laughs> Feral goblins. Average, upstanding citizens suddenly devolving into mindless beasts. We don't know what causes it. Sir, madam, we need to get the two of you out of here. Guards! Escort Vinia to safety! Yes, sir. I'll stay here and coordinate the retreat. My place is on the battlefield, not up in some ivory tower. Hurry up, you clods! Get me out of here! I detect higher ground to the west. I advise heading there post-haste. 
quickly. Get Christopher up there and out of this gas. <sighs> I don't feel so good. Christopher, are you okay? No. My chest is burning. And I'm dizzy and... We need to get him some help. Hmm. Whoa. Hey, guys! Over here! We can help your friend! We? Did I miss the second person falling out of the sky? At least, I assume he's your friend. Maybe he's only an acquaintance. A colleague? Anyway, you seem to want him not to die. Over here! I guess we don't have much choice. Hurry! Into that house! Shut the door! Don't let the smoke inside! You can lay your friend down over here. What can we do? What's wrong with him? There's not much anyone can do. He's probably got glass lung. Unless he was like this when you got here. That'd be weird. I guess it doesn't matter since we don't have an actual cure. This might help a little, though. Half medicine was added to your bag. Okay. <laughs> Hey, I feel a little better. Yes! It is glass lung! I mean, that's bad. But it also means it's the right medicine! <laughs> it's traditional Nomada medicine. It should help with the cough, for a while at least. Until it doesn't. <laughs> for now, though, try to get some rest. Thank you so much, both of you. I'm Crispel, and this is my friend Christopher. These two are Wilhelm and JKR721, K for short. I'm Zass, that's Jaru. Don't let him fool you. He may look tough, but deep down, he's a good guy. What about Christopher? There's a cure for glass lung, right? We saw someone in the market earlier take something. The princesses have something that helps, but it's in very short supply. Besides, they'd never waste it on a human. But that's... Isn't there anything we can do? Don't be so dramatic. He's not going to die or anything like that. I mean, he will eventually. Just not right now. In the long run, though, not that long of a run, actually. Like, a lot sooner than if he didn't have glass lung. Sorry. That... that can't be possible. There must be something we can do. Hmm... Well... I'm not a medic or anything like that. But I know someone that knows someone that is. Maybe. <laughs> I heard a rumor that someone is going around Sinisa curing people. Sinisa, the original capital of Cinder, prior to the Cinderian Civil War. Located close to the Great Forge. Yeah, that's the one. They're even worse off than we are. Sounds like a great plan. Let's go right after my <laughs> nap. Christopher, you need to stay here and rest. Zaz, we're going to go to Sinisa and look for this medicine. You've been so kind to us already. Can we count on you to watch over Christopher until we return? We'll pay you for your troubles. You have to be kidding me! If you're going to Sinisa, then for sure I'm going with you! Jaru here will watch over your friend. I will? I mean, yes, I will. One of us should stay behind to help watch over him. I suppose, as his mentor, the burden falls to me. <laughs> hey now, that's my what? That's the wild card. Okay. Are you able to engage in combat? <laughs> Just you wait and see. 
I've been surviving on my own in this city for years. Hang in there, Christopher. We'll be right back, I promise. Path goes down up there. Didn't even see that. going again well this is a most troublesome situation we need to find that cure somehow on to Sinisa welcome welcome we have the best equipment for weary travelers such as yourself meow <laughs> and magic defense. Oh, okay. Prevents random encounters. Is there a talk on her? Welcome, welcome. We have the best equipment for weary travelers such as yourself. Meow. Meow. Well, you seem like you come from far away. Have you met any of my sisters, Meow? Yeah, I think we have. You appear to be similar to the vendor in Neva Tulira. Is your name also Elizabeth? Of course. So you have met my sisters, Meow? Yeah? <laughs> We've been to Nevatulira and St. Clarity already. I guess both the shop owners there were your sisters? You have a wonderful family. What a sweet thing to say! You deserve special treatment. Here, this is on the house. Awesome. Cinder is not in the best state right now, but I'm still keeping the store open, Meow. Yeah? I'm sure things will get better, Mia. Are these? Levies. A wall that can be raised if required. From what I could gather, seems like the city's geothermal activity is high. Ooh, okay. That's uh, not, not good. Those walls were likely used to prevent the city from being overrun by the lava. But it seems like they haven't been used in a long time. Oh, for sure they haven't. After everything that happened in Ceniza, the people stopped using them. The flow of lava always went towards Ceniza, leaving Cinder free of the danger. So they just went with it. Hmm. Seems logical for the current situation. It is not. There are people in Ceniza still. They have no right to do that. That's Cinder for you. <laughs> and things are only going to get worse, so get your weapons ready. I can't <clears throat> breathe properly. I'd probably be dead if it wasn't for the princess's medicine.
I wouldn't advise going past this point. You'll only find the old palace. That thing hasn't moved in a while. <laughs> Hold it right there, foreigner. Passage here is restricted until we hear otherwise from the first citizen. Okay, sorry. Lacking components. The controls for the levees are passed here. Don't mess around with the equipment. I don't know why the first citizen even allows that workshop back here. What a waste of resources. This way. Hey, go in there. Take care of your friend while you're away. The kid is fast asleep. Want me to go with you guys? Not for now. Okay, where the heck am I going? There was nothing out here, right? Behave yourself, foreigners. If you continue past here, you will reach the first citizen's house. Go too far, in any sense, and you'll find yourself in the cemetery. Welcome. A warm bed for everyone? It's only 200 marbles for the room. No, thank you. It's rested on what's her name? On Paulina. Oh, too bad. Good luck sleeping inside this sauna.
I wouldn't advise going past this point. You'll only find the old palace. That thing hasn't moved in a while. That's right, we can't go in the old palace. Welcome to Cinder, or at least what remains of it. Can't go that way, okay. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it here and we will continue this next time. This has been Vepija, and, uh, you know, do those three things that'll make us both happy. You know what they are. You click on that like, you give me a subscribe, and then you ring that bell so you can see me next time. Later. <laughs>